going on out there guys? Um, this is Wayne here and we're going to be looking at the big dogs of security chain. Uh, this is the Paywag security chain. This is what I did my original video on. Uh, Paywag square link chain. Um, this stuff here is absolutely tough. I mean it's super super tough. Uh, this is the new competitor. This is the uh, security max from firstchainsupply.com. Uh, this came from Delta Chain and Rigging. This is just regular uh, 80 proof uh, coil chain here. So this is like a high quality transport chain. And this is just some junky uh, hardware store junk. Um, so first of all, uh, how did I test this stuff? Um, HK Porter, made in the USA, bolt cutters. Boom, just like that. Uh, I keep the edge on these very, very, very sharp. And... Um, you can see what it did. Uh, cutting these these security chains really messed up the, the cutting edge on that. Luckily, I know how to fix that. I'll be able to grind that back down and, and resharpen that. But here's why. Here's how the numbers work. Here's how it breaks down scientifically. Security chain versus standard big box chain or transport chain, um, like this here. And uh, HK Porter bolt cutters. They are designed to cut things up to 48 on the Rockwell hardness scale. So we're going to bring it back down to science. We're going to bring up Rockwell hardness scale because that's what's really going to matter here. If it's hard, if one material is harder than the other, it's going to cut it by a, a certain percentage. If it's not, the amount of leverage that I have with those big giant bolt cutters, it's going to get cut. So the hardness on the jaws of your bolt cutters is going to be 62. It's going to be a super high grade tool steel. Rockwell hardness scale of 62. That's just a, a good baseline. Anything else is probably going to be less than that. If you pick up some bolt cutters from your big box store, uh, you know, junky ones from Harbor Freight or wherever, they're not even going to be that hard. So don't waste your time messing with those. Uh, we're only working with the quality stuff here. This stuff is supposed to be hardened to right around that 40 mark, 40, 38 to 42, uh, but it's just so big and thick that it doesn't, it, it just doesn't allow you to really cut through it. Um, we'll go through this right here. This is the Payweg 12 millimeter uh, snow chain. This is a chain that's designed, it was originally designed for uh, loaders and heavy equipment just like this. Um, what they've done with that is they figured out how to make it extremely hard Payweg Snow Chains, number one chain in safety around the world, um, number one brand in North America and worldwide. Here's why. Uh, this chain has the highest alloy content on the market and goes up to 63 on the Rockwell hardness scale. So this chain is hotter than the steel in my bolt cutter, so it's right there. And um, that's why this chain is so, so tough and so durable. Um, it only comes in the metric sizes, so 12 is pretty comparable to half inch. Uh, that's why we've got that there. But um, the other thing to consider is that this is case hardened, but it's case hardened ultra, ultra hard. So the center is probably about as hard as this stuff is here. This stuff is through hardened. Uh, so it's going to maintain that hardness of that 42 to 38 all the way through. This is just, it's not even going to give you a chance to get a bite on that. And I'll show you that later. Um, see if we get some more information here. Uh, so this is the part number. If anybody wants to order it, this is uh, Payweg Hardened Square Link Chain. Uh, 12 millimeter is 3012. Uh, that's the stock number. 12 millimeter uh, heavy equipment. Uh, its weight is about 117 pounds per 50 feet. Uh, so let's take a look at that. I was mistaken in my last uh, video and kind of made the assumption that all square link chain from Paywig was the same and was referring people to the grade 100 chain. That is not the case. We want the Paywig hardened square link chain for designed for traction tires and now we have the official part number that's going to work out well or we can go with the glacier square link chain uh, it's hardened as well and its part number is 2012 sl 2012 sl both of those you're going to get this ultra ultra hard 60 
what was it, 63 on the Rockwell hardness scale, harder than the bolt cutters. So that's what you're gonna be looking at there. Um, first chain is going to be, let's see here, your half inch security max chain, part number 38-448CL. Look at that right there. What is it, 38-448CL, right there. Um, so this is gonna be a through hardened chain, and you can see right here, this is, this is the ultimate test right here. Um, I jumped up and down on those bolt cutters on this, and it did make this indent. That's, gonna, that's why we prove everything scientifically. That's why I'm such a believer in figuring out what is the Rockwell hardness scale, what is that steel designed to do, what's in those alloys to go ahead and do that. I was able to bite into a little bit, but trust me, after 10 minutes of jumping up and down on these things, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm defeated. I'm not doing it. Your edge is getting flatter on the bolt cutters. It's only getting harder to cut through and make your way down through this stuff. Here's what happened on the Payweg chain. Nothing. Not even a scratch. You cannot tell where I made any kind of attempt to cut that, even in the weakest point in the bend here. Again, 63 Rockwell hardness scale rating. It's case hardened, but I'm sure if the outside is 63, by the time it gets to the center, you're maybe in the 50s, maybe down to 48. Um, either way, I cannot believe how tough this stuff is. Uh, if both of these are great. When it comes down to it, that's what's going to happen here. This is your grade 80 transport chain. Uh, you know, it's pretty difficult to cut, but I was able to mull my way through it. And then this is just some big box store. Um, you know, it, it's not really rated for anything. It's just, I think it's got a weight rating of 3,000 pounds. Um, let me just go ahead and redo a little bit of that for an example here. I'll go ahead and put this link in here. Take that like so. And <clears throat> so that's cut. Half inch. Boom. Uh, not very difficult. That stuff there, uh, pretty difficult to cut through. I'm not going to go through that again. I'm just going to show you on the other side here what me bouncing up and down on this thing does and how long it even took to make that kind of a dent in there. Get that on that weakest part right there. Okay. So you can see me jumping up and down on this thing. And that's all we're going to get out of it. Just a little tiny bite mark right there. And then not very much at all under here. I mean, I can't even hardly, you can see it maybe a little bit, but I can barely feel it. So, not very easy. That's why we go with these hardened security chains. And I'll go ahead and take this one, there's a pay leg. Throw that in there. Same thing, right on that weak edge. That was my bolt cutters. Ooh. Yeah, so you can see, I don't know if the camera picked that up or not, but that spark was actually my bolt cutters chipping right there. So I'm not going to mess around with that anymore because I don't feel like catching a piece of shrapnel. I can't even figure out where I was cutting on that thing because it just doesn't must be that right there must be that right there so definitely uh, out of all the chains that I've seen or tried um, and we got some you know we got the 3H stuff too uh, you have to check out my other video for that this stuff is unbelievably hard uh, that was kind of cool I hope the camera picked that up but it actually chipped and there was actually a spark um, from the bolt cutters, the jaws actually split uh, and, a, and a chunk came flying off of there uh, when trying to cut this. That is insane. 
uh, that just goes to show you that when we bring it back to, you know, the Rockwell hardness scale, if if uh, the bolt the bolt cutter jaws are 62 and this is 63, it's not even going to touch it, not even close. So you can rest assured that your valuables will be as safe as they can be uh, with the Payweg right here. Uh, one more time with the part number, Payweg, 12 millimeter chain, uh, hardened square link chain. 3012. That's stock number 3012. Um, I, I'm just a firm believer in it. I think it's great stuff. The original video, I apologize for any uh, miscommunication about uh, thinking this was the same as Grade 120 chain. It's not. Um, this here is specifically designed for uh, tire chains for large equipment. Um, so thanks. Keep watching. Um, Check out the links below to find out where you can buy this stuff. I'll put some links up uh, and some prices, direct stuff on where to go and get this, and some telephone numbers, some contact information. Thank you to First Chain Supply for supplying this. Thank you to DNM Wire Rope uh, or Delta Chain and Rigging, Grand Junction, Colorado for donating this chain. Um, there's not much else to say. This stuff right here, either one of these is going to be great. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this stuff is extremely expensive too though, uh, so just keep your prices in mind. I think this is going to be about $14.99 and this here is going to be, I think it's like $20, bucks, 28 bucks a foot, uh, so probably almost twice as expensive. This is great, it's going to do the job, this is just a tiny little bit better, um, this is not and uh, this is not, so there's not much point in even putting this kind of chain on your stuff. It, it's just broken so easily. So, thanks for watching. See you later. Okay, so, this is Wayne with Tri County Locksmith Service. For more information, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com. Thanks. Alrighty, guys, this is the end of the video when you watch YouTube here. A uh, couple ways you can really help me out uh, is to go ahead and make sure that you subscribe. Click on the subscribe button right there, and then Come down here and share this video with Facebook and Twitter and any of the other uh, social media facets that you are a part of. Uh, this helps other people find my videos. It helps my videos uh, gain uh, count and, and gain the, the countability and views, and that in turn helps me provide more videos to you with good information about security and the latest in technology today. So Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus are about the biggest ones. Uh, those are the ones that help out the most and um, just posting those on there lets your it spreads that information uh, to your friends, family, anybody else that would be interested in watching one of these videos and it, it helps me get the countage I need to be able to continue to make videos and provide the information to you. So this helps out a lot. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.